Hi everyone, I'm Merrill Reese, along with Mike Wick, and welcome to Old School All-22. Mike, the Eagles didn't have a whole lot of wins against the Indianapolis Colts in the Andy Reid era, yes. but there was one in 2010, and Asante Samuel rose to the job. When I think of Asante Samuel, I think of a guy with great instinct, not only the cat-like quickness and able to get in and out of cuts and get to the ball, but just the instincts of knowing down distance and splits and all of these things that you have to know to be effective. Asante Samuels had all of that. He really was a winner. Regardless of which team he played for, he always came up with big plays. Let's watch some Asante Samuels footage. The Eagles open up the game with a touchdown on the opening drive with the defense taking the field for the first time. Asante Samuel had every intention of giving it right back to Michael Vick and the offense. On second and 10 from the 19-yard line, the Eagles line up in a cover three, with Samuel accounting for one deep third and safety, Nate Allen being the safety in the middle of the field. The Colts ran two vertical routes right down the right side, and Manning wanted to hit his tight end, Jacob Tammy, down the seam. Asante, who was supposed to be occupied by the outside receiver, saw the whole thing happening. The veteran corner snuck inside and picked off the pass returning it 32 yards to set up a field goal to make it 10-0 to start the afternoon. Fast forward now to the final possession of the game. The Eagles are up by two. It's third and 10 from the 41-yard line. The Colts again are running two vertical routes down the right side, and Manning will want to hit his number two receiver down the field for a big play. This time, the Eagles are in two-man coverage with Asante as the free player over the top, acting as a safety in that part of the field. The ball is snapped. Samuel reads the route developing in front of him, and he trusts his eyes, following them to the catch point to reel in his second interception to seal the game and the victory for the Eagles. I remember a few things about that game. One call I remember was a roughing the passer against Peyton Manning. Yeah. And I think Trent Cole touched his helmet with his pinky, just <laughs> scraped it fingernail against the helmet and the flag went out. But time and time again, the Eagles came up with the plays they had to to win that game. What I remember is that it was a scary game because all the teams that Jim played against that defense, he was able to break them down. But Peyton Manning had a way of going to the line of scrimmage and understanding what was happening on the other side and just always having a play, coming up with a play from the line of scrimmage that could beat Jim's defense. But on that particular day, Peyton Manning did not leave as a winner.